In this video, I'm going to be showing you all the loot I get from 100 Alpha Rhino 500 missions on the Genesis map in Ark. At the end, I'll show you all the gear, weapons, saddles, and whatever else I get from doing the races. I'm also going to show you how many hexagons I get and how long it took me to do all these races. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments and I'll do some other missions. And if you want to get your own ARC server, use the link at the top of my description or look for the pinned comment and there'll be a link in there. I'm partnered with Nitrato and I do make a commission, but it's at no extra charge to you. So if you're going to rent a server, please use the link. All right, let's get into the video. Bro, these fucking glitches are goddamn broken, cousin. I just want to know the dude in charge over there that was like, yep, seems good. Everything works fine. Send it out. Let's sell it. I want to meet that guy. Sell the fuck out of it. I don't care if it's finished. Let's go. <laughs> Looks good to me. But sir, we haven't even tested it yet. I don't give a fuck. We need money. Sell it. Wild card got some corny motherfuckers working there. Anyway, I'm done with my little rant for the day. After you go to the Arctic biome and track the Rhino 500 mission, you can't build in the mission zones, but right next to it, you can see the ramp right there. That ramp right there is where the mission is actually at, at the top of that. And I'm right next to it, right outside the mission zone. I just run up this little mountain and I put the one by one right up here and then make a few beds to put in the one by one. It'll save you a lot of time just in case you freeze or if you're on a PvP server, a player kills you or a wild dino. After you do that, you're just gonna run down the hill and go up the ramp and start doing the missions. I'm not gonna go over every single thing that drops cause we're gonna do a list at the end. I actually recorded this on two different characters because this was over a period of time one of the characters i was playing on was on mts and the other one was on uh, arc apocalypse none of the rates are changed for these drops though so it'll be the same on official the text sword drops so often from this mission you might as well just drop any of them that aren't ascendant and really if you don't have the tech ingrams for the tech sword there's no point of really having it so you could drop that too if you don't have that. The main things that drop from the, the Rhino 500 mission are the Tech Sword, the Spider Saddle, the Bronto Saddle, Sarco Saddle drops a good bit too. But that's not that's not why I'm really here. I'm here because you could do this mission within 70 seconds and you get 750 hexagons with no requirements to do it. You can come completely naked and start doing this mission. And if you're freezing, just drink the consumables and eat the shadow steak and it'll keep you alive for the most part at least and if it doesn't then you got the bed right there not far from you so either way you'll be in good shape i mean it is also good for sniping but if you're gonna keep on dying you might as well just eat it and then the curries are really good for staying alive in the snow i do fail this mission every now and again but it, it's usually when i'm first starting out because wild dinos like to walk right in the path of the race and i get stuck on some of them what i usually do if i get stuck on one and i know i'm not gonna finish i'll go ahead and kill the other dinos that are in the pathway so i won't get stuck on them for the next race it gets a little annoying at times but once you clear out all the wild dinos from the area it takes them a while to spawn back, so you could do a good bit of races before you have to worry about it again. Not only are you getting loot the whole time you're doing it, you're getting hexagons, which you can buy other stuff with. I'm going to show you at the end, too, how much flint or how much cementing paste that you can get with the amount of hexagons that we got from this race. And the amount of consumables you get from here is ridiculous. You'll get med brews. You'll get mind wipes, uh, all the all the soups and stews, curries, chili. This isn't on a private server either. Like nobody nobody camps this mission really on uh, any of the servers we play on at least. And I'm not saying that this is the best way to get hexagons or the best way to get loot. It's more of just to show you what you can get from this. I do use this method though. I mean, you're talking about being able to fill a vault up almost just starting out. You need nothing. You just run over here right when you start. That's the best part about this mission. Like, I know there's other missions that will give you more hexagons and 
you know, better hexagons per hour or better loot. But this one doesn't have any requirements. There's a few other ones that don't have requirements either. But if y'all want me to do videos on those, I can do videos on them. Just let me know in the comments. The only blueprint that I see dropping from this is the Ocean Platform Saddle BP. It's the only BP that I've seen drop from these. The only thing that gets kind of annoying with this race is why couldn't they have either made the dinos not walk in the pathway or put this race in an instance to where there isn't any wild dinos while you do it. So annoying. You get a ton of gear. Everything from scuba to riot, flak, ghillie. Pretty much everything except for tech. You get a bunch of different type of saddles from it too. Alright, let's jump into how many hexagons I got. From 100 Alpha Rhino 500 missions, I received 75,000 hexagons. If you're buying flint with your hexagons... One hexagon is equal to 2.78 flint, which means every race you'll get around 2k flint and 100 races will get you 208,000 flint. If you're buying cementing paste with your hexagons, one hexagon is equal to 0.33 cementing paste, which means... Every race will get you 250 cementing paste, and 100 races will give you 25k cementing paste. So 2k flint or 250 cementing paste isn't bad for a race that only takes a minute to a minute and a half. You can buy whatever resource you need. I usually just buy flint. Sometimes I'll get cementing paste if we really need it and I have some extra hexagon saved up. But other than that, I, I just get flint. I just bought 3,300 CP from the store and 18,000 flint. I'm going to transfer back to base and just spawn on the bed and put it in the vault that's next to the beds. Each mission takes anywhere from 65 to 95 seconds to complete. If you give yourself 30 seconds in between each mission, I'd say on average it'll take around 2 minutes to complete, including the break in between. So not counting the time it takes to bring the loot back to your base, it should take about 3 hours and 15 minutes to complete 100 Alpha Rhino 500 missions. I've mentioned the Rhino 500 race in one of my previous videos for getting cementing paste and flint, and I got a few comments saying why not go to the swamp cave on the island, or why not just get beaver dams, but that's, that's not the point of this. The whole point of doing Rhino 500 is for when you're just starting out and you want to get some quick resources, gear, saddles, weapons and tools, or consumables. Or if harvesting flint is just boring to you, then this is a good option that will keep you entertained for a longer period of time while also getting some loot. Or if your tribe is defending your base on another map and y'all are starting to run low on resources... You can transfer over to Genesis and do a couple Rhino missions to get some resources while your tribe holds them off. Because if your tribe is getting attacked, it would be pretty hard to casually do a flint run or a metal run during a war. I made these stacked bar charts to show y'all the, the comparison of each item. If you want to pause the video and check any of these charts out, feel free to do so. Alright, I'm going to show y'all the saddles first. Then I'm going to move on to the weapons and tools, then the gear, then the consumables, and other MISC items. The most common saddle drops from this mission, by far, are the Spider Saddle, the Bronto Platform Saddle, and the Sarco Saddle. You do get a decent number of other saddles, but it's completely up to RNG if you get good ones or not. Alright, this is the weapons chart. The most common weapon drop from this race is the Tech Sword. Also got about five mining drills and five or six whips. The mining drill and the whip were my second highest. And I got a few fab snipers and pump action shotguns too. They don't drop very often though. The gear didn't really have a common drop from the race. It was all over the board but you get plenty of gear from the Rhino 500. Like I said if you want to pause the video and check any of these graphs out you can. And for the last two graphs... We have the consumables and the miscellaneous items. For the consumables, we got close to 30 of every consumable on here except the mind wipe. I only received a little over 10 mind wipes. 
for the miscellaneous items, we got almost 60 glow sticks. I use glow sticks to throw at my tribe mates, but you can use them for whatever you want. And I got almost 10 blueprints for the metal ocean platform. I don't really know why they put that as a drop, but okay. Anyway, if you found this entertaining or valuable in any way, leave a comment so I know if I should keep making these or not. And beat the shit out of that thumbs up button for no reason whatsoever. And subscribe for more ARK and other survival game content. Thank you all for watching. Peace.